Hello and welcome to another trip report. It is number 25 of 25 today. I'm on the last of a 25 sector round the world trip and I'm in Providence, Rhode Island here in the United States. Today I'm flying back with Norwegian Air in one of their Boeing 737 MAX series aircraft. Down the back of course in economy as Norwegian operate all economy service on this route. Flying back to Edinburgh in the UK, uh, flight time about six hours and it's going to be an overnight. So uh, it's going to be something a little bit different for this channel. I hope you enjoy the video, let's go check it out. Providence Airport has to be one of the most pleasant I've ever been through in the United States. It boasts a rail connection which will take you on MBTA's commuter trains into Providence in about 15 minutes and Boston in under an hour and a half. The station is just a few minutes walk from the terminal and is entirely undercover. Check-in here couldn't be easier. Providence is not a busy airport and I was disappointed that this route to Edinburgh actually got cut last year. There are now services just to Dublin, Cork and Shannon. If you're carrying luggage, it must fit into the gauge at the check-in desk and you'll be given a yellow tag. Security here took less than five minutes, so I was airside in next to no time at all. One thing you should be aware of if you're here late at night or in the evening is that everything kind of winds down airside after about 7 or 8 p.m. A lot of the shops close and you may find yourself without anywhere decent to eat. Many airports in the States like to emphasize their links to the military. Providence is no exception. I'll break with tradition and tell you what I paid for this ticket now because it's well worth bearing in mind when you watch the rest of this review. I paid £125.50 for this one-way journey between Providence and Edinburgh back in the UK. That's about US$160. US dollars. Now that fare includes not only a meal on board the flight but also a checked bag and I think that is probably the cheapest fare that you're ever going to find between the US and the UK. So it's coming up to half past eight and we've got about 20 minutes left until we board the aircraft. I just wanted to take some time out from the trip report itself to say thank you so, so much to everybody who watches my videos and especially if you are a subscriber. The encouragement that I get from seeing over 100 people every day subscribe to my channel is absolutely incredible. The fact that you guys are leaving comments, thumbing the videos up and following me on other forms of social media like Instagram and Twitter is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much and the stuff that I can do on this channel is just not possible without the support of all of my subscribers. So thank you so, so much for the privilege of being able to do this kind of thing. Um, I do feel like a really, really lucky guy and um, you know, I'm quite emotional thinking about it now. I've done 25 sectors, I've gone around the world. I would never have done that um, a couple of years ago. As for me, 20 minutes until uh, boarding, I just wanted to give a special shout out to my American subscribers. I have loved being in America. This is my fourth time now in the United States and it is my favorite country to visit. I'm really looking forward to coming back next year. Um, I'm gonna be doing at least a week here next year taking in some rather random and unusual airlines that you may not have heard of. As far as other parts of the world go, I definitely plan on doing a week either in South America or in Africa, uh, taking more airlines that you've never heard of, and of course a week in the Far East, which I absolutely loved. It was a real eye-opener the first time that I'd been there uh, was on this particular Around the World tour. I'll be back again next year with some more amazing content. So yeah, thank you so much for being a part of the channel. Um, and yeah, it's been a massive, massive privilege and a pleasure taking you guys along with me. I'm good, how are you? Thanks a lot, cheers. How are you? Hiya. As I mentioned earlier, Norwegian operate an all economy cabin on their 737 MAX aircraft. This means the configuration is a standard 3 plus 3 throughout. Yeah. 
As for me, even though I could have picked a seat much further forward, I've decided to slum it at the back. The recline throughout this 737 MAX is not particularly great, but you will find it even more limited on the back row thanks to the bulkhead behind you. Okay, settled on board now. America, thanks for having me. Let's get back to Edinburgh. The journey from Providence to Edinburgh is 3,113 miles and at an altitude of 36,000 feet, it'll take us just under six hours tonight. Now, Norwegian is renowned for its excellent free Wi-Fi on its flights within Europe on 737-800 aircraft and on its Dreamliner flights between key cities in the US and Europe. But on the 737 MAX, there is no Wi-Fi at all. This seems like a glaring omission for an aircraft designed to fly transatlantic routes. As a result, the in-flight entertainment consists of just a single film shown on the overhead screens. I also took the opportunity to have a look at the 737 MAX's notoriously small bathroom. Now, they are very small and I do suspect that some people will struggle to actually fit in these. However, the flight is extremely cheap, the toilet was very clean and what you're going to do for a flight costing £125 across the Atlantic. As part of my fare bundle, I was entitled to a free economy class meal on Norwegian and I wasn't expecting very much. However, the service was very prompt despite me sitting down the back of the aircraft and I was genuinely surprised by what I was given. My expectations were very low. My meal even came with a glass of white wine. The meal itself consisted of a chicken breast, grilled vegetables and mashed potatoes and the quality and quantity were perfectly acceptable considering the price paid for the flight. The meal wouldn't have looked out of place in any other economy class cabin on any legacy airline, so this is definitely a big plus for Norwegian. Well done, and you've exceeded my expectations. After dinner, it's time for a nap. I managed to get a few hours sleep in the fairly cramped economy seats here on Norwegian 737, and I woke up somewhere over Derry in Northern Ireland. While I thought the meal quality was very good considering the price paid, if I took this trip again, I'd probably skip it. Your sleep time on these short transatlantic flights is at a premium, and I'd rather spend the extra half an hour sleeping than eating, but that's just me. After a short descent, we're soon heading into the Edinburgh area, and you can see the fourth bridge poking out from behind those clouds. So just to recap, I did pay the very low price of £125.50 and pence for this one-way flight across the Atlantic, including a meal and a check bag. That's outstanding value, and all Norwegian have to do to satisfy me when I'm paying that lower price is to simply deliver me from A to B with no fuss. 
I really do love Norwegian as a low-cost airline. I think their service concept is great and they exceeded my expectations with the meal, although I was disappointed there was no Wi-Fi. It just seems a bit illogical that they would have Wi-Fi on their Dreamliners and their short-range 737s, but not on these brand new Max aircraft. And there we have it. That's number 25 of 25 flights around the world completed. And incredibly, I had no cancellations and the longest delay I had on all those 25 flights was 45 minutes. Today we've landed over half an hour early here in Edinburgh. Plenty of time for me to get into the city centre and carry on my onward journey. I just want to take a few minutes to say thank you so much for coming with me on this journey. I know some of you have been following this particular series from the start. Number one, when I flew from Birmingham to uh, Zurich with Helvetic Airways. So thank you so much for coming with me on all of these journeys. It's been a real blast. I've really enjoyed myself and I feel refreshed here uh, in Edinburgh. I don't feel tired at all. Even though I've just done a short transatlantic flight, I'm really energized and buzzed about this channel and its potential for the year ahead and next year. So thank you so much and I'll wrap it up here.